Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Again, I, as I always say, what's a day without a good North Korea story? Well, here you go. North Korea has upped its war talk once again, warning the United States it faces an unimaginable military strike. Now, the Kim Jong-un regime was reacting to the continued drills being carried out by the U.S. and South Korea in the region. Next week, the Allies will carry out courageous channel in which Americans in the area will practice being evacuated in the event of a crisis. Although it is carried out twice a year, it has heightened fears of military conflict. Now, North Korea state news agency said in a statement, the U.S. is running amok by introducing under our nose the targets we have set as primary ones. The U.S. should expect it would face an unimaginable strike at an unimaginable time. Now, last week, North Korea was spotted moving multiple miss missiles, sparking fears of a fresh launch. A U.S. spy satellite captured images of missiles mounted on launchers being moved out of a hangar near the capital Pyongyang last Friday, it was claimed. Now, American and South Korean intelligence agencies are now preparing for the Kim Jong-un regime to carry out a new provocation in defiance of worldwide condemnation. Yeah, so here we have more threats and rhetoric, and I, I, I gotta admit the rhetoric is better this time. It's almost as colorful as um, what the Ayatollah said about Donald Trump recently. Uh, of course, that was rather, that was rather nasty, but um, I like that. An unimaginable strike at an unimaginable time. Well, you know, folks, if you can dream it, you can imagine it, you can picture it. And so should this strike come, and I doubt very much that it will, I'm exceedingly skeptical this will ever amount to anything, that it's nothing much more than a distraction. But you can imagine it, folks. And, and now being completely sincere, while I don't always take this seriously, there is always the chance this could turn out to be a legit and, and serious grave threat. Anyway, folks, I'll leave you a link to this. And when it comes to links, please check out the link to my new fiction book, Fortress, A Wayfarer Story. The link is in the description area below the video. The Kindle is $1.99. If you have the Kindle Unlimited program, you can read it for free. The paperback is $7.99. This is a story about um, so much of what you see and what you don't see in uh America and around the world right now. This is a fiction book that the deep state doesn't want you to read. And this video here, or this image here, I should say, it's just referencing a small section about a small city mayor with a big city terror issue. And he's telling somebody, maybe a state governor, I have another type of terrorism to deal with as well. I've got CNN, MSNBC, Fox, and who knows who the hell else descending on my city as we speak. And you know, CNN, MSNBC, and Fox, they could certainly be considered terrorists in some respect. If you are a, uh, a, a follower of, of current events, if you like to watch videos such as mine, this book may smack more of truth to you than fiction. So you should check it out. And you can read Chapter 1 for free. It's called Fake News. It's linked down there. Read it for free. Go right ahead, please. Thank you. There's also a link to some of my music down there as well. Now, folks, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please share it if you feel so led. And most importantly, as you know, these are increasingly treacherous times within the maelstrom that we live. But do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Jim signing off. God bless you, and I'll see you soon.